After powering on your device, you should see a desktop shortcut or app for the Biomedics Exchange application. If the Exchange application is not on your device, you can call your organization's IT support for assistance. Or for additional support, you can reach the Biomedics support team at 888-889-8997. Upon opening the application, you may receive a notification informing you that no registered user is attached to this device. Hit anywhere away from this notification to close it, and then click or tap the Biomedics Exchange logo at the top of the screen to reveal some basic software information. To register yourself as a user, record the software license number with a screenshot or by manually copying it and send it along with your full name, phone number, and work email to support at biomedics.com. You may also call the support team at the aforementioned number to complete registration. Upon receiving this information, the Biomedics support team will activate this device for your Exchange account. To prepare for testing, plug the sensor into your testing device, and if you haven't already, open the Exchange application. Look for a blue tracing traveling across the screen to confirm proper connection. Have your patient rest for a few minutes lying in a supine or sitting position. They should also remove their shoes and socks for testing. Note that the device is capable of testing with cold toes and filtering out ambient light, so no medical consumables or extra preparation are necessary. While they rest, you can optionally input the patient's first name, last name, and date of birth. The test PIN will be automatically generated, but a custom value may also be entered if desired. When you and your patient are ready, you may place the sensor clip on whichever digit you wish to begin with. The index or middle finger is recommended for hands, and the big toe is recommended for feet, but any digit may be used. The sensor within the clip should be positioned flat against the fleshy part of the finger or toe being tested. The patient's hands and feet should also be still and at rest. Too much movement can cause interference during testing. When the software is displaying waveforms with consistent shape and size, you may then begin recording by clicking the appropriate segment on the software. As waveforms are gradually recorded, the progress bar will indicate how much time is left for that segment. After completing a segment, the software will automatically notify you if there were any issues with the recording. Otherwise, you may also select it again at any point to re-record those results if desired. Once all segments have been recorded, select the Complete button in the top right to finalize the results. On the final screen, you will see the scores for the left and right side, weighted between 0 and 1.4 along with the patient's respiratory and heart rate. Hitting save will save and upload the test results to the Biomedics Exchange web service, provided a stable internet connection is available. Uploaded tests can be accessed at any point on biomedics.us. If your account has been activated, simply head to the website in any web browser and log in with your work email and password. Passwords can be reset with the Forgot Username or Password option. If you believe your account should have been activated, but no credentials were ever received, contact our support team at 888-889-8997. In the Exchange website, you will see a list of all completed tests from your connected devices. To load a test with patient information, simply select the Match Status button and the service will automatically attempt to match your test to a patient record based on the test member name and date of birth. If no options are available or relevant, you may select the New Member button to add new member information instead. Hitting Save will load that information onto the final report, which can be accessed by hitting the print icon to the left of the test 